And now in sports, a German sportswear manufacturing giant Puma has terminated its four-year contract with the Athletics Federation of Nigeria, EFN. In the letter detailing its termination of sponsoring and licensing agreement, Puma said the termination of the deal comes amidst an alleged leadership tussle between the Ibrahim Guso-led EFN board and that headed by the Minister for Youth and Sports Development, Sunday Dari. There are also indications that the sportswear company might eventually sue the AFN to court for alleged breach of contract as they have been sending documents from their legal department. Well, joining me now to discuss this further is sports analyst Musa Sanusi. Uh, thank you for joining us on the news, Mr. Su Mr. Sanusi. Well, this kind of act, how does it portray us in the international community? Now, especially in the sports industry, recall that the AFN had similar issues with Puma that they had to terminate the contracts back then. So thank you for having me. Uh in such situation, in case like this, the, it's showing us that the inappropriateness happening in the sports community in Nigeria uh, is really worse. And if we don't do the necessary things, people, a lot of people will not do business with us. And uh, even with the potential we have, the kind of capabilities we have, and a lot of people we have that are capable of making business deals and making conversions, brands will not come and associate with us because in this era of creator economy and a lot of endorsement and businesses going up uh people will not do business seriously with us but i believe uh this will not stop us from doing business with a lot of people but rather will give us a freedom to come down home and reshape and uh, redesign the industry so as a lot of people will love to do business with us even when uh, in this situation like this the major problem is the inappropriateness that that were lead by government officials even if you could remember the issue that is not it happen, that does not happen in the sport industry the p and id is led by a lot of people from the presidency and uh, this is not uh, given a lot of young Nigerians the privilege to bring in a lot of investors with things happening in, in, in the tech sectors and uh, things happening around other uh, hemispheres, it will not do good for us. But I believe this will not stop us from doing business with global community, but it will make business very difficult for us. Business analyst Musa Sunusi Ahmed, thank you for your contributions.